parts of California are under a winter storm warning this morning. Those winter storm warnings will expire later tonight. Many in the state, though, they've been waiting for rain and snow in the higher elevations to hit the region. Dennis Shanahan with Fox 40 in Sacramento has more on the storm. Finally, after six dry weeks, these thirsty mountains are getting a bona fide snowstorm. With temperatures in the 20s, the powder is piling up. This storm might not make much of a dent in the drought, but it helps restock some of the snow that melted in recent weeks, and it's the perfect quality of powder for skiers and snowboarders. This is about as good a snow as you get. What makes it perfect? The colder temperatures. The colder temperatures makes the snow that much better softer, fluffier, and not as ridden on, so it's not as packed down. The people that went home earlier missed out. But there will be better opportunities for the crowds to drive up here. Anytime the snow falls heavily and suddenly, there's a price to pay on the pavement. So this is why Caltrans and the CHP are always telling people to come to the mountains prepared for long delays. We're along eastbound Interstate 80. We were checking out reports of a jackknifed big rig, but because that jackknifed big rig is blocking the entire freeway, we're not going anywhere. A few minutes later, we did start moving again, but very slowly as the CHP let travelers pass the big rig single file on the right hand shoulder. We found a safe place to pull over and talk to the officer assigned to this mess. He was expecting a long night. Be prepared for the wet and icy roadway conditions. Make sure you have a full tank of gas, and if you can avoid the area, avoid the area. It was about 90 minutes from the time this truck jackknifed to the moment a tow truck driver got it facing the right direction again. The rig was still drivable, and the driver was back on his way. Chain controls are in effect with a 30 mile per hour speed limit. If you're driving so fast that you can't get traction in your car, even if, even if that is below the 30 mile an hour, it's still too fast. Wednesday is looking like the next best opportunity to make this drive without heavy snowfall. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.